and welcome back to the journey of my YouTube channel where I so far have mostly been talking about sequels and whether or not they're better than the originals but today I'm starting a new series I'm trying something different to see if other people like it see if I like it one thing that I like to talk about just in real life is Christian art that is better than the stereotype I think most of you have probably heard of the stereotype of Christian books and movies that are really cringy and boring and preachy and just not nearly as, as good as they could be. Today I want to start a series that talks about stories that are better than those stereotypes that are either made by Christians or have Christian themes in them. Uh, the one I'm going to talk about today is a little bit unusual in that um, the people who made it aren't necessarily all Christians, but it still has some very clearly, obviously, Christian themes in it that I think are done really well. Um, for purposes of this series, I am not going to be talking about things like Lord of the Rings, Narnia, Pilgrim's Progress. I think we already know about those, and I would rather spend time talking about stories that get a lot less publicity and that deserve a lot more. The first story that I want to talk about, and the discs are tumbling around in there, it's actually a TV show called Sue Thomas FBI, which despite being about the American government is mostly Canadian. It aired from 2002 to 2005, which is really fun to see all of the like early 2000s technology and, and stuff in this show. I definitely enjoyed that about it. And as far as I can tell, it's always had kind of a small cult following of people who think it's really great, but it's never been like, widely popular. The show is inspired by the real life story of a Christian deaf woman named Sue Thomas who worked for the FBI, and she was super super good at lip reading, which enabled her to tell what people were saying from a long way away or on a surveillance tape or in other situations where hearing people wouldn't be able to understand a conversation. She could get that information and help the FBI solve their cases. Since this is based on a real person, it might have been tempting for the writers to make Sue very perfect and one-dimensional and have her be someone who always does things right and always says the right thing, but they actually fleshed her out and gave her flaws and weaknesses as well as a lot of strengths and that has made me an even bigger fan of Sue as a character because she felt very relatable though I wish I could relate to her a little bit more because she's like very mature and good at learning and communicating and helping people uh, one of her biggest strengths is having compassion and understanding for people that the rest of the FBI might just see as too far gone the other agents might think they'll never change but Sue is willing to take the time to talk to them more and give them a second chance and I love seeing her use her own experiences with her disability to help other people and even stop crimes and also the actress really is deaf so that added some some realism to have the actress really uh, lip reading and really being able to talk even though she can't hear and Sue is not the only character in this show with a lot of layers and personality. There's a team of seven FBI agents that they're, they're all on the cover of this disc. Um, and every single one of them is super distinctive and interesting and hilarious. And they're, they're not just great individual characters, they're extra great as a team. And each set of them has an interesting dynamic between them. So watching them interact in a variety of situations and combinations is just really fun. And pretty much each character gets at least one episode, usually a couple episodes that really dive into their backstory and what makes them who they are. But they don't just, they don't just exist for comedy. They have needs at once, they have their own relationships, and they all grow as people, all of them, over the course of the show, have character arcs. And even beyond the main seven, there's really never a character in the show who's just treated as comic relief or just treated as one thing at all. There are good guys who completely mess up, and there are bad guys who turn out to have some things right or who change. I love how this show sees everyone as a person. No matter what they've done, everyone is a human. So I could talk about the characters for a long time, but the external action of the show is really fun too. It combines elements from a lot of TV genres, 
So there's the FBI element that makes it a police and mystery show, but it's also an office comedy and it's kind of a relationship drama sometimes. And a lot of times all of those will be in the same episode. They're all woven together in one 45 or 50 minute episode. And so that gives it a lot of variety. And there are some episodes that lean more into the thriller side, some focus more on interpersonal dynamics. Uh, some of them get a little bit more like courtroom drama a little bit. Um, so a single episode can have super intense action with terrorists and bombs and serial killers, and then also be a tearjerker at the same time. Yes, this is a Christian show. It doesn't mention Christianity in every single episode, but characters definitely mention God and prayer and church a few times. And because Sue Thomas is a Christian, they respected that in all the writing of the show and the themes of Christianity show up a lot of times, even when it's not specifically mentioned. My one critique of the show would be that sometimes it veers a little dangerously close to soap opera territory for my taste. Uh, some episodes are better written than others, especially in the last season of the show. I thought some of the relationships got a little melodramatic. They didn't always feel as realistic or grounded as the earlier episodes did. And I'm just really angry that David the Dog Park Guy even exists. And if you watch the show, I think you will understand what I mean. That's all I'm going to say about that. So again, Christian show, but it's still really strong as a story. And it's extremely clean, which is impressive for an FBI show. Like, there's no blood. But it doesn't compromise the tension at all. And it still feels realistic the way they strategize how they're going to show things, how they're going to depict things. I never felt like it was less realistic or less exciting or less intense because it's rated PG. And it's super low budget, but it still manages to have a really fun aesthetic and atmosphere, or maybe it just seems that way because it's old and now it's nostalgic. But my favorite thing about it is probably how it tackles serious and hard themes and never tries to make them too easy or simple. I mean, it dives into some rough things like terrorism that are not easy to handle well. And I think it did a really good job with asking hard questions, with letting all the different sides explain their part of the story. There are sometimes at the end of the episodes kind of conversations between characters that make the episode's theme pretty obvious, but in my opinion the episodes earn that kind of on the nose time of talking about the theme uh, because they've already shown us the theme through the rest of the episode and I felt like the way that they told the theme at the end when they did that still felt true to the characters so for me that that just worked I wish there were more than three seasons today's t-shirt of the week is seriously one of my favorite t-shirts that I have it's my Ankara t-shirt from when I visited the city of Ankara, which is the capital of Turkey, and it is a really beautiful city. It's super clean, it has lots of parks and trees and nice areas, a lot of cool buildings. This is a bunch of landmarks from the city. There are so many cool buildings. There's a castle. It has a really awesome castle, and not many, not many cities in the US can say that. I got this from a store called Cheap Charlie's which lived up to its name. Everything was an amazing price there. So yeah, that was an incredible trip. I had a great time there. Definitely one of my favorite t-shirts. If you have any t-shirts from cool trips that you've taken from interesting places that you've been, let me know in the comments about that. Maybe even send me a picture of your t-shirt from your visit to an interesting place. If you want to watch Sue Thomas, click the link in the description to see how you can do that. And please let me know if you watch this show or if you go watch it because of this video, let me know because I don't have nearly enough people to talk to about it. Not many other people have seen this. So don't forget to subscribe and click the bell if you want to see more videos about Christian art that deserves to be better known. Let me know what Christian art is better than the stereotypes so that I can talk about that. Let me know if you want more videos on this subject. And until I post them, thanks for journeying with me. Bye!